What's up everyone, Tom here from toolswithtom.com with another video on Excel for marketers. And today what I wanna take you through is a really simple function that you can use for essentially being able to randomize the data that you have using uh, the random function of Excel. And so you can use this for things like picking a competition winner, being able to create randomized samples for doing things like A-B tests, or any other kind of testing that you're looking to do on your database. Uh, but essentially what it allows you to do is to randomly be able to generate uh, essentially what you're looking for. So what we're going to do, this is the example spreadsheet that I've got. So you'll be able to download this one as well, but it's essentially got a list of 428 entrants of a competition. So say I ran a competition where it was enter your email address to win a free iPad and I've got here all of my entrants and now I need to go about picking the winner. So what a lot of people will do is they'll take all those names and they'll cut them up and they'll put them into a hat to draw that because for a lot of the laws, depending on what country you're listening in from, you're hearing in from, um, you'll need a random selection. You can't just pick one that you like, you'll need a, a actual methodology of being able to pick the winner that you're going to go about. So how we are going to go about doing this is very simply in, I've got column A, column B and column C. In my column C, all I'm going to write in is equals rand, R, A, and D. And then I press on the open parenthesis and then I press on the closed parenthesis. I do that, press enter. That gives me a number there. And so what this is, is essentially, it's just a random number that Excel comes up with. And it's going to change every time I I paste and put this in again and run it again, it's going to be different. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to apply this to all of our other rows. So I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do, as we know, in the bottom right, there's a little square. I'm going to click that, drag this formula down for all of my entries. And as you can see now, each of them has a random sample. So say I need to pick three winners of my, my competition to win. What I might do, I've got all of my data here. If you want to select just all of the cells in this column, you can just go hold shift, press control or command if you're on a Mac and then press on your down arrow. Get all of those, press control C or command C and then command V or control V to actually just go through and paste and you can randomize this up. So you can do this and you might go five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now I've got all the random ones in there that I want. Now what you want to do next is so that these don't keep changing is you want to select them all, shift control down or shift command down, or you can just select the column. I'll go shift control down and I'm going to right click and copy. And then here what I'm going to do is right click and you can see it's got paste options. So because I've still got the RAND formula in these cells, it's going to continue to randomize the data, which is going to make it really difficult to, to go through sorting because it's going to constantly change. So what I want to choose is where it has this little one, two, three, and that's value. So what that's doing is it's just pasting the values that exist within the cell and it's removing all of the uh, functionality within that cell. So it's not going to keep changing. It's not going to keep running the formula. It's now done and ready to go. So what I'm going to do in here now is I'm just going to call this order. And what I'm going to do next, now that I've got my, my three columns ready to go, I'm going to select all three of my columns by just clicking on column C and then dragging my mouse across to columns B and A. From here, I'm going to go up to data. And from here, I want to go to filter. So if I click on filter, you'll see that it's going to add a little arrow to the right of each of my uh, leading cells in my top row. Okay, so now that I've got those in, if I click on order, you can see that it's got all of the different things in here. I'm able to filter those if I wanted to, but we just want to sort them. So I'm going to sort them, let's say that the largest number wins and we're going to pick the largest three numbers. So I'm going to go now and click on sort largest to smallest. And there we have it there. So we can pick these three that I've got here. And these would be the winners of my competition. So this is totally done randomly. It means that there's not kind of any bias that's going into things. It means you're not spending, you know, a ton of time going through and either, you know, 
printing out names, cutting them out, putting them into a hat or into a, into a barrel to draw them, or even you know doing things like uploading your data into some odd third party system that will do it for you. This is just allowing you to do it within the comfort of your own data within Excel. So guys, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you can find multiple uses for using the random function. Uh, let me know how you go and how you are then going about using it in your business and through your day-to-day -day marketing routines. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch, tom at toolswithtom.com. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series, Excel for Marketers, constantly coming up with new ways that you as a marketer can use Excel to make sure you're getting the most out of the data that you have. And make sure you subscribe to my channel at Tools with Tom. And I'll see you again soon.